fans, and welcome to the Big Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked. And today, I'm presenting another mock. This mock answers the question of what happened to that empty lot beside the Red Cup Cafe. It's a small bookshop with a small apartment upstairs. These small windows gives a sense of an old, maybe medieval building. And that's also underlined by these arches here and here. This building is both the result of me wanting to experiment with shape you can see this building has an L shape and me wanting to experiment with color. As you might have seen in one of my earlier videos, I've been trying to integrate the more basic colors into my Lego builds. And that's why I mainly used blue for this build. Of course, I've also used some white and light gray to accentuate the blue. This mod is also an experiment in architecture. There's no doubt that this top floor has a distinctively different style than this bottom floor. But I gotta admit that I think these two styles actually go well together. And they do that mainly because of these shared colors, I think. I've experimented a bit with using these shield-shaped one-by-one modified bricks as detailing. And I think it's quite interesting. And that might also be what gives it that distinctively medieval feel. The building is, of course, modular in style, and each floor can be taken off separately. If we take a look at the bottom floor, we can see that there's a small bookshop inside. This is Ernest's bookshop. It specializes in a big mess and unfair prices. Ernest spends most of his time complaining to customers about how bad business is. He's working on a book about a conspiracy that says that the world is made entirely of plastic. Of course, very few people believe him. And he's been working on that book for years and one has to wonder if it will ever be published. Inside the bookshop there are several different bookshelves and a table with books as well. The books are mostly 1x2 bricks and 1x2 plates that's been placed very strategically to look like they have blank surfaces. When Ernest doesn't sell books, he sells board games, and they're placed right here. Ernest also has a transistor radio and a pocket calculator to help him calculate prices for the customers. You might be led to believe that he sells newspapers because of this newspaper right here. But this newspaper has been here since 1962 and he hasn't sold it yet. 
And here's one of Ernest's regular customers, a dude named Melvin. Let's take a look inside the top floor. On the top floor lives Brian, who's a heavy metal fan and the owner of a pet spider. He's got a small kitchen over here with a small stove and some condiments right here. There's also a heavy metal poster right here and his shower is right here. And his bed is placed in this little niche over here. Brian not only likes heavy metal music, but he also is a big fan of scary books. In fact, there's one of his scary books lying on the bed right over here. There isn't much detail on the roof except for this little water tank up here for Brian's shower. I am wondering if I should add more details because that might be interesting, but I don't know what I should add. If you have any kind of ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Generally speaking, this mock is a bit of an experiment. I'm not sure I am completely satisfied with the looks, but I do like the color scheme and I also like all those arches. I think it's really interesting to try to build these small buildings, but it's not too easy, I have to admit. I'm not sure this top floor works too well, but I loved experimenting with it. And I gotta admit, using these arches here, these wheel arches here, as details for windows is something I'm trying to gonna do in the future as well. That was Ernest's bookshop and Brian's little apartment. I'm not sure that everything works perfectly in this mock and it's something that I might revisit in the future. But for now, it's going into my city as it is and you can see how that looks in my previous city update where this is also featured. If you have any suggestions on how I should improve or what I should change on this mock, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to hear it. But that's all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next Monday.